What is up, everybody? It is a beautiful morning on the homestead. It was about 52 degrees out. It is July 30th. No, June 30th. June 30th. Got Liz, what are you doing back there? I'm planting some lettuce. She's got a bunch of lettuce that her dad gave us. So she's planting lettuce up there. Should be quick. She got, I don't know, almost a dozen plants. And then we're going to start milling today. We got a lot of logs over here that we're hoping to cut into shiplap. So that's the plan for this morning. My dad gave Mike and I some lettuce and cucumbers um, that he had started over at his house. And I need to get it in the ground. We don't have another box built in the greenhouse yet, but we have a nice shady spot in the garden that I'm going to put these. So I'm on kind of the upper deck of our garden area. This is where I'm wanting to put that lettuce that my dad gave us. I actually planted a bunch of corn here, like earlier in the season from seed, but it turns out this space actually gets not a lot of sun, as you might think is obvious. It's right under a big tree. Um, but I think the lettuce is gonna do good here. So I'm gonna grab a shovel, till it all up, see how this dirt is, mix some compost in with it. If I need to, I'm gonna get some potting soil. If not, I'm just gonna till it up, plant the lettuce straight in there, mix with compost, some sawdust, call it good. Okay, got that lettuce planted. Need to get some water on it. Fairly confident that the soil up here is a lot better than the straight up soil that's right down there. So I feel good about that. It is nice and soft, has a lot of nutrients in it. Looks good. Let's get some water on it. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? You're crazy. Dude, come here.
Dad, you stay. Oh, for this. Yeah. Day. Okay, we're getting a lot of boards out of this log. Super awesome, that's a good thing about those super wide logs, even though they are a little bit difficult to kind of imagine, to kind of manage in the beginning, gives you a lot of boards. Um, we're also cutting stickers while we're at it. I think we're gonna go get some lunch, right? <laughs> Miss it. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so new, so I can find myself. Okay, we got that log done. That is a big log, big and beautiful log, actually. So quite a few boards. What do you think? Like two dozen boards almost out of that thing? Uh, yeah, well, four, eight, 12, 12, 16. 16 boards? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece of wood. We have another one. Mike had cut this one, what, in half or at least at the right length. So we have another chunk just like this. Yeah, ready to mill. Ready to mill. Super nice wood. I think what we're gonna do with these this leftover chunk of log here we have a chicken currently in the chicken coop that is broody so she's trying to hatch some eggs so we're going to build her a brooder box um, and put her and the eggs in it so that she can have a little bit more like privacy and safety to hopefully hatch some eggs and make some chicks yeah kind of cool we've never we've always talked about how cool it would be to have a chicken that you know or to have chicks that came from like our own chickens so yeah it should be pretty easy <laughs> we're just going to stand this thing right up and slice it down the long way I don't 
don't know the words to the song. Okay. How'd we do? We did good. That was a big chunk of wood. Yeah. Big log. Got it all milled down. It's very, very satisfying, I feel like. It is, yeah. <laughs> Taking like a giant tree, basically, and turning it into something like so small. It's so gratifying, yeah. Like you yeah. were saying, satisfying. You mm -hmm. see it just like come to shape or I feel like you could use the term come to life, but right. even though we killed the tree to, no. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but Repurpose. it is just yeah. amazing. Bring it to a different life. Yeah, um, something. It's pretty cool. It it's is pretty really cool. cool. Um, and these are, what did you measure? I think it was about 14 and a half inch wide. 15 and a half, I think. 15 and yeah, a half, 15 yeah. And a half of uh these boards so those shiplap boards are some of the most custom boards that i think you'll see yeah. almost anywhere for sure it's super cool super neat uh -huh. um, and we're really excited about yeah, it yeah we're really excited we feel really fortunate we have a few more chunks that size so we're kind of scheming how we can like get the most bang for our buck with really wide um boards like that so. yeah we're scheming possibly for the ceiling, the house, uh, maybe yep. for, the, for the walls, maybe run them vertically. You know, the options are, we have a lot of options We have right a lot now. of options, right? Yeah, so. so the last thing we cut on this was, I mentioned that we need to build a brooder box. So mm -hmm. if you want to stick around one of our next videos, we'll have that in there. Build the brooder box for our hen and get to milling the rest of this wood. Yeah, got to get back to it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.